Here I'm going to show you how to make a really nice meal with some cabbage. This is the final result here. Very colourful and flavours as well there, sizzling. So you take a cabbage, about one kilo, chop it up and then what you do is you slice one medium onion. Then once it's sliced, you can heat up six tablespoons of oil and keep the heat on medium high. Add one teaspoon of mustard seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, and four of the red whole chilies that you can see. Add the sliced onions and start to mix away. You just need to saute so you don't at this stage brown anything. You now add your ginger, garlic and red chilli powder. You start to actually mix that all together for around, roughly around 30 seconds. Once you've done that you add these ingredients here. As you can see you can note them down or pause add them into and mix well. Once you've mixed them, you get some tomato paste. Add six tablespoons of tomato paste to the mixture, or you can even add two medium fresh tomatoes or one large tomato. Mix that in. Uh, Julian, half a green pepper and half a red pepper. Here you can see me slicing. Um, and half of it set aside to use later. So you take that and you add this to the existing mixture and then you get your cabbage which is around one kilo and you just add that to the mixture. We then start to mix that around and mix it really well. Then you can see the whole mixture, the colours here. Place the lid on for around 15 minutes and at this time you change the setting to a medium low so on this one around four and whilst then we can chop a handful of coriander leaves and also get half a teaspoon of garam masala and some fresh bay leaves if you have to add them as well i use dried bay leaves because i didn't have any fresh after 15 minutes you lift the lid and add in the rest of the ingredients Saute that for a little while and it's ready. There are those beautiful aromatic flavours coming through and you can start serving that with some naan, fresh naan. If you've actually enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe so there will be a lot more recipes coming up and hope to see you again.